Hi guys, this is Aouchitya. I'm here to speak about the MapReduce features. Um, and one of them is that site data distribution. Um, site data distribution. What is site data? Site data can be defined as an extra read-only data which is needed by a job to process the main data set. This read-only data deals with the job configurations and logs which requires an access for both map and reduce tasks. The challenge here in this site data distribution is that in order to make this site data available for them both map and reduce tasks, that is as we already discussed about the uh, read-only data which, which, which should be present in the main data set, this must be made available for both the map and reduce tasks in a convenient and efficient fashion. So in order to achieve this, we have two techniques. One is using job configurations and the second one is using distributed cache. Um, the, uh, the first one is by using job configurations. In job configurations, we, what we do is that we set an arbitrary key value pairs by using set a method on job conf method class, which was inherited from a configuration. This method is very useful if you need to pass a small piece of metadata to your tasks. So in order to retrieve the values in the tasks, override the configure method in the mapper or reducer and use a gather getter method on the job conf object which is passed in. In this job configuration method, the Hadoop serialization framework is uses the default stringifier in order to serialize the objects. That is, uh, we serialize the objects in general in this method. Um, um, this method isn't suggested when we have like more data. That is, when it is dealing with the kilobytes of data, this method isn't suggested because uh, it pressurizes the Hadoop payments, uh, particularly when a system is running on 100 jobs. So then we got to know that this method uses implements the serialization framework and uh, this uh, method isn't suggested when we are dealing with more data. Uh, and the next feature I'm gonna talk about is uh, by using distributed cache. In distributed cache, uh, previously we used serialization in a job configuration, but instead of using job configuration, serializing the job, serializing the data, this is preferable to distribute the data sets using Hadoop's distributed cache mechanism. So what is this Hadoop's distributed cache? This is a mechanism which is provided by Hadoop's MapReduce framework that offers a service for copying read-only files or archives or jar files to the worker nodes before the execution of any tasks for the job on that node. Generally, these files will get normally copied once per one job to save the network bandwidth. Um, this, uh, th as we already know, this 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 thing provides a service of uh, copying files and archives to the task nodes and uh, use them when they are running in the background. In order to save the network bandwidth, generally these files are copied to any particular node only once per one job. The diagrammatical representation of this distributed cache is given in the next slide. Here we can see uh, there's a data node one and data node two. At data node one, we have a local copy and there's a reduced task or a ma map. And similarly at data node two, that is we have a local copy here and a map or reduced task. This both uh, copies are being shared to this uh, distributed file system here. In the, that is that is the distributed cache. See the, the the copies are being distributed here. I mean, when once the job here is done, this is being uh, sent to, to this distributed cache. This is how this uh, cache is implemented. And um, last but not least, uh, we have learned that distrib in distributed cache, we uh, we only uh, distribute the data accordingly to the job, and uh, and we we distribute the data. At the last, I will, there's one thing that is the question. I explain about job conf class. In job conf class is a primary interface for a user to describe a map reduce job to the Hadoop framework for execution. Job conf typically specifies the mapper, combiner, partitioner about the usage of input format and output format implementations. And that's all, guys. That's a brief explanation of the uh, some one of the features that is that is the cache and job configurations of MapReduce. Thank you so much.